Good evening from Six Flags Great Adventure Spring Breaks Scream Fest. It's like a light fright fest kind of thing. It's an extra, it's an additional fee ticketed um, event. So if you bought your day ticket, you just came to Six Flags, you, you had to leave or buy a new ticket. The tickets are $39.99, but it is included with your platinum and diamond, I think, platinum and diamond memberships. Definitely diamonds, that's what I have, and I got it for free. I'm not sure about platinum. I'll have future Chris uh, drop something down at the bottom here. He'll either drop the information or a snarky comment, counting on the latter. But, yeah, and it's, it's you know, two haunted houses, it's a couple of rides are open, and some merchandise show. It's exclusively on the boardwalk area. You see they have like some atmosphere kind of stuff, smoke going on, there's people running around, there's a chainsaw guy running around slinging Frankfurt is to people. They have like a little grill open, and uh, people seem to be having a good time. They got a DJ set up in the front, and he's on the ones and twos over there swinging some not so spooky music. And uh, that's what's really what's happening. So we're gonna walk around, we're gonna check some stuff out, check out the haunted houses, and uh, enjoy Halloween in April in Six Flags Great Adventure, Jackson, New Jersey. It's open running all week. I'll put the, the dates on the bottom. Future Chris will do that. Or he won't. You never know what's gonna happen when uh, he gets uh, behind that computer. All right, let's see, let's check it out. The entrance to enter Scream Break is uh, off to the left of the main entrance. So it's the normal queue that you would walk into and over to the left they had a special little entrance where they were giving out wristbands for the event. Hi, Future Chris here. This was a long little walkway that they had leading up into the event. As you can clearly see, there was nothing going on here. They had two scare actors. One young lady seemed to be confused about what she was doing there. I don't know if she worked there or she was a guest who was just kind of like just sticking around. This guy was blowing uh, smoke at everybody. Or CO2, whatever it was, like a fire extinguisher. And uh, yeah, that was the extent of the scream break. Not scream fest, you dodo. Scream breaks entrance. So really pumping up the atmosphere, getting you psyched for some spooky Halloween action. Now you can see walking around the place, the it's just really atmospheric lighting and smoke machines. They had a handful of scare actors. I'm guessing those were the actors who were supposed to be a part of the zombie scare zone. There was maybe three of them. Maybe. Or four. They also advertised a photo event, which is what I think this was. The photo op. It was just a bunch of terrible plastic skeletons stapled to a fence. And this little dilapidated cart that they kind of dressed up a little bit. You can barely, you can't really see it. It was too dark. And this one stilt walker with a jack-o'-lantern skull type of yo-yo. And she like swung around and that was it. But she wasn't there all night. That was the only time I saw her. And they had the DJ up there on the ones and twos. Spinning some tunes. Not Halloween music. Uh, I did eventually hear Michael Jackson's Thriller, but that might have just been a coincidence. Now this was the walk back from the restrooms. The restrooms were all the way over in the back by uh, El Toro. 
if you're familiar with the park, you know that's that's a little bit of a walk from the boardwalk area to El Toro. And during this this little walk up, they had again smoke machines. They they was talking about like creepy ambiance music that was supposed to be playing throughout the parks, but you, I didn't hear any. The only music I heard was uh, Britney Spears and Miley Cyrus music playing from the DJ. There's the little smoke machine. There were two scare actors in this that entire long path, but they were both just right in the front when you first walked in. You'll see them over here. There's one just kind of just moseyed out to say hello to those fine f folks. And there's that chainsaw fella. And that was it. That's all you got. So this is the extreme funnel cake. I when I asked the woman what the difference was between what was the extreme funnel cake, I had the most unenthusiastic. It's just a funnel cake sundae with worms on it. She seemed annoyed that I was asking, but it's one of the one of the specialty foods or themed foods for the event, and that's what it is. It's just a regular funnel cake for sixteen dollars, thirteen if you're a pass holder. I'll take it. As far as food offering goes, the Garden Grill is open. Uh, they have their normal stuff that they have during the day. They have a special uh, roadkill food cart thing that's like sausage and pepper sandwiches. They say from like game animal um, sausage. I didn't, they didn't specify what it was. And they have the special funnel cake, which the woman was just so upset with me when I asked her, Oh, what's the extreme funnel cake? And uh, she just, the disdain in her eyes, you could just tell that she just hated everything. And that's what I mean about this place. It's like the employees just, they don't care. That's why, I mean, and that's partially why this place is run the way it's run. <clears throat> as far as the haunted houses go, just, you know, shut the lights off in your house and just, like, run around. This, this, if you're alone in your house, it's essentially the same amount of people that would be in the haunted house with you. There was zero scare actors. Maybe one, maybe two at the most, two. And the woman who was uh, doing the queue, letting people in, she kind of, like, shouted at you after you walked in. It was really, really sad. And, you know, they do such a good job for Fright Fest, at least they used to. I, I haven't been to Fright, I didn't go to Fright Fest last year, but now that I've been to, like, Halloween Horror Nights Universal, and even, Mickey's not so scary, even though that's not, like, a hardcore, like, Halloween kind of scary thing, it's still, it's just run, you just can't compare it to, like, Disney World. It's just, they, run, they, they just run so much better, Universal just runs so much better. For such a big, for the theme park that's such a big foothold across the United States, you would expect a lot better from Six Flags. And, unfortunately, you just don't get it. They do not deliver in, in any aspect. And that was really it. I mean, what you see is what you get. There's some flashing strobing lights, colorful lights. This was the entrance to the haunted houses. And the signage they used was leftover signs from Fright Fest. Because on the signs, it told you about how there's a scan this QR code to purchase tickets for the haunted house. But they were included with the ticket from the event. So people were confused about that, and there was also no one around to kind of point you in the right direction. This was a guy, this this guy was a good scare actor. He kind of chased me around with a chainsaw. He did a good job. He was having a whole nice little time. But, I mean, that was it. 
that was the event. Everything you saw, everything I shot, I walked the entire event about four times. In the, I only stayed an hour and a half because I couldn't bear to walk around there any longer. And you'll see just how limited there was right here where look at the amount of people online to do the go-karts. Do you know how bored you have to be to wait online to do the go-karts? Alright, that's it for me at Screamfest. And that might be it for me at Great Adventure for at least until Fright Fest. And maybe not even Fright Fest, maybe I'll just come to Holiday in the Park. This is a $40 ticketed event that your regular daily admission doesn't cover. So if I came here, and you know, it's included in the past, that's the only reason why I'm not livid because, I mean, the, what I shot is, you know, what you see is what's there. There was maybe three scare actors running around, you know, doing the same kind of bit. Smoke machine, some ambient lighting. You hear the music, they had a DJ. You know, it's, a, it's basically a glorified dance party. The haunted houses, you know, they, they did let you film in them, but I put my camera away when I was going in because she was like, no flash photography, and she pointed at me and I got confused because I'm a simple, simple boy. But so it runs to the end of the week. Do yourselves a favor, save you money. Hey, Car Chris is back. I like Car Chris. This might become a thing. Listen, I know it's April. I know Halloween is a ways away. So if you're hankering for a little bit of a hollow, little Halloween atmosphere and you want to go to your local Six Flags if there's one near you or come here to Six Flags Great Adventure in Jackson. I notice I play with my eye a lot when I talk. I gotta stop doing that. Um, I'm gonna tell you, don't do it. Halloween at better places like Universal starts in like August so if you're gonna spend the money to come to do or like a great event I understand that you can't you know people can't just travel to Florida oh I'm gonna go to Universal because it's Halloween Chris, you, you, I, I understand but if you happen to live near one or you're gonna go to don't come to Six Flags God God just just don't do it it's so bad here it's so bad I understand it's you know known for its thrill rides, and it ha those are great when they're running. Tonight with this this ticketed event, the slingshot was open, that twirly thing that it had, and I think Superman, and that was it. That's all you had. You had su those three rides. I don't think there was anything else. Um, and there was a few handful of scare, like I said, the handful of scare actors. The haunted houses were abysmal. Abysmal. It was the most embarrassing. There's so many. If this is what a teaser for what's coming for Fright Fest with Six Flags, they have big, big improvements they need to make. Because this is embarrassing. Local places, little farms in New Jersey do better haunted houses than I've seen here. What the hell? I put a better display on my front lawn. I put projections, I have animatronics, than they do here. Just a little food for thought, something to think about. It's running till the end of the week, I think till April 14th, whatever the end of the week is, whatever Saturday is, today is April 8th. Let me check a, let me check a phone, Let's see what we got here. It's calendar, oh God. I get so nervous sometimes. Oh, today's the 11th, not the 8th. Whoa. Um, yeah, it's running till the 15th, April 15th, so this will be on YouTube before then. And if it's, uh, and if you catch it after that, um, you dodged a bullet. Congratulations, you made it. I'll see you guys later.